Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, I'm just sending out all this extra love and extra comforting and uplifting vibes. You know, we need that each and every day in our lives. You know, just you being empaths is already enough as it is. You know, that's a job by itself. So I'm sending all this uplifting energy, loving and comforting energy because we're going through so many changes and no one there's sending us down a positive path. But, you know, I just give you all that love and comfort that we all truly need in our lives, especially from time to time. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just have to tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you... Um, if you uh, feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information that you know somebody truly needs it at that time, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and uh, support like I give you as well, which is greatly appreciated. And I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video and just thank you so much for supporting my channel. Y'all, these daggone meditations got me messed up. Like the last one that says, raise your vibrations. I ain't know it was going to have me all like this. So it's just like I had to think about what I was saying for a minute. I was just like, dad, did I say this already? Because it's my last, for the last video for, you know, Friday afternoon. Um, So I'm going ahead and doing it early in the morning this time, you know. So, uh, but anyways, my meditation music that I'm listening to today, and it really got me feeling good, and it feels like I'm at peace because I really truly need that because I've been agitated a lot for the last few days. Um, it's called Binarial Beats for Inner Peace and Guidance in Sofigo, Miracle Healing Music, Purify the Mind, and I will po post that link in the description box below. I love to listen to, you know, um, Sofigo uh, uh meditation especially binarial beats those are my favorite you know i know a lot of people like hey Rosalyn, that's mine too i said i love it especially them powerful ones they they'll make my dad on third eye open i'm like god can you give me a warning for that you know when it says powerful i didn't think it was gonna be that powerful but it just gets me so in tune with everything and it gets me all like wow you know but anyways my video today is about these crazy changes will bring a bring a positive future it will because i know a lot of y'all y'all going through so many things and y'all just trying to wrap your brain around the things that we're going through right now we can go through ascension we can constantly keep going through spiritual awakenings um kundalini dark night of the soul all these different things it, it can be so crazy but we need to go through these things to get to where we truly need to be and it's just like i know that can be painful at times y'all know if you've been with me for a while y'all don't see me go through it like y'all i tell y'all i gain weight i lose a lot of weight um i can go through crying fits you know and if i feel like i'm at that point i'll tell y'all i try to tell y'all like through the next video or i even you know i used to be making you know, little five or two minute videos, but it's just like if I feel like my um my my um vibes aren't right, you know, y'all are so prone to get that that energy that I sent out. I don't want to be able to send that to y'all. So you could be going through your certain situations as well. Because I used to try to get four or five videos out, just like the other day, day before yesterday, I only made two because I, my headache was so bad. I don't, you know, it felt like I was coming down with a sinus infection. And, like, my headaches were, like, it felt like somebody took a, a chisel, like, stuck something right there and just, you know, just hit it like crazy. And I was just like, I cannot deal with this. This hurts so bad. And, you know, dealing with all those different things. So, it's just like, but I know my body has to go through these changes. I know that my body is trying to tell me, you know, you need to release these things. There's things that, even though I've released a lot, there's still other things that... You know, got that residue right there that, you know, I still got that scent lingering that I need you to pay attention to. Because there's sometimes, like I told y'all, there was a video, uh, I told y'all about video, uh, the video about you, um, about 
bad memories start coming up. You know, there's a lot of things that surface. It's like certain songs I would listen to. Like my dad wanted me to step out my comfort zone. I love singing with my dad, but that one song, Purple Rain, I, um, <laughs> you know, it was really hard for me to do. It took me like 20 takes to do that song. He's like, that's okay. We got all day. You can do it. You know, but he said, you need to get the song. I don't care how many times it takes you to do it. You need to get the song out. I'm like, Dad, please. And, you know, because I, I mean, I love that song, but it was such a painful milestone from, you know, our friendship, our connection just totally broke off. But I knew I had to go through those changes. If I want to be able to get the better things off in my life, I have to be able to put the heartache, the sorrow, the pain, the anger, you know, the judgment out my life. And that's what all we have to do. You know, there's some times that we can go through these uh, psychic flus where it makes you sick, it makes you nauseous, you may feel like you're going through vertigo, you know, like you feel like you're dizzy or you're about to pass out at times, you feel flighty, you know, um, going through rashes, oh my God. I went through a bad rash all up and down my legs like I'm starting to come through it on my face, you know, and I don't know if that's just for me drinking a lot of soda or it's just like I'm still, you know, purging out a lot of things. You got to purge as well, you know, and I ain't talking about that daggone movie because that, that crazy stuff. I didn't even watch the last one, but, um, you know, purging out anything that is not no longer serving us. Like if you really want to go towards that positive path and you feel like you're stagnant, you feel like you're stuck, there's reason why. You know, most of all, it's like it's in our inner psyche to make us feel like we're stuck. We can actually set ourselves free if we want to. We just have to be able to set ourselves free from all the anger, all the judgment that held us there in the first place. You have to be able to heal from those things. You know, if you still have bad memories coming up, do things in your life that makes it healthy for you. You know, I hate it. Like I said before, I hate it when I'm friends with somebody on Facebook or social media and they're just so depressed. They're just so negative. And it's like I keep telling them, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm there for you if you want to talk. But it's just, I guess that's just their way of. You know, I am I don't want to talk about it, but yet you keep on bringing it up on Facebook. Like, I hate it when people do that. Now, especially if I know that I'm friends with you and you keep, just keep doing that. Sometimes it makes me just want to unfriend somebody like that because it seems like they're more comfortable getting attention that way. And I'm like, that's not going to bring you any attention. People want to start being worried. Like, is this person going to blow their head off and they're going to hang themselves, whatever, because they're mad depressive. But it's just like, you know, okay. You know, I just wish they would just heal from these things because I know it's sad at times when you're constantly going through things. And I, trust me, I know how hard it can be to let go of things. I do. I really do. But even my dad is just like, I understand, you know, you really went through a lot of things, but you need to heal from this because it's no longer affecting you. You've grown. You know, I, I look at the things that I've went through and to be able to put this out, you know, on social media be able to have my negative experience turn into a positive outlet for many others to be able to relate to that is my blessing you know to be able to keep doing these things is bringing me down to a positive future because there's so many people that say Rosalind I can relate to what you're saying I'm so glad you're open and honest with us I have no reason to sit up here and lie and fake the funk with y'all because it's like no person never had a dirty past there's a lot of things we have done in our past past that we are ashamed of there's not a lot of things that we are proud of what we did but if you learn from that situation and you're not doing it no more, why should you be labeled as things that you used to do? That is what you did do. That was your past. And, you know, you shouldn't keep on having to be, you, you shouldn't have to pay for that for the rest of your life. If you're still going through it and you're still doing them things, hey, you know, it is what it is. But there are so many things I've done. You know, I've shoplifted before. Wrote bounce checks. I don't went to jail. <laughs> I don't got, you know, got evicted from my house. I don't lost a car or two because I didn't, you know, make my payments. I used to dance. You know, there's so many things I used to do, but I'm not like that. You know, I still got a house over my head. It might not be the, the prettiest, best house that I wanted, but hey, it's a roof over my head. I might not have the best car, but hey, my car is paid for. You know, I got a title and everything. Got no loans on it. You know, we sometimes we got to get loans on top of titles and stuff like that. I ain't got none of those. So I feel like I'm very blessed. I'm very grateful, you know, because there's a lot of people that got very less than I have. So it's just like we have to be able to know, like, OK, we might not have the best things in life, but be grateful for what you do have. You know, there's a lot of people that got less than us to be wishing they had what we had. So it's all these things that you can when you can let the universe know. 
okay i'm healing from this and they see that you're healing from it you're you're being very constructive with uh the things that you went through you know when i feel like i'm sad i sing you know there'll be people hey Rosa, what are you doing oh i'm sitting up here singing you know i'll pull out my karaoke mic and you know get my speaker and put my videos on like y'all seen me do on my videos before you know and just sing my heart out because number one i'm surprised and actually feel blessed for me to be able to be smoking cigarettes since i was like think 20 21 and I mean I was a heavy smoker you know going through everything I did I needed that outlet you know get stressed out smoke a cigarette and then just five years ago five or six years ago no since 2012 I was smoking marijuana and just finally you know gave that up last year and that's a blessing to be able to still have my voice I mean I used to be able to hit high high notes like uh Minnie Rippleton you know, when she had that song, Loving You, I was able to get those, you know, hit those notes. But since I smoked, I can't hit those notes anymore. But I'm still blessed to be able to feel, you know, still feel I can sing. And just an honor to be able to sing in the same note as my dad in the same capacity. That is truly a blessing, you know, because I'm like, what the heck did that come from? But okay, I love it because it's just, I love to be able to sing with my dad. I've always dreamt of, you know, performing with my dad. And I know y'all hear me say that a lot. But, you know, that's the thing that I love to do. You know, I love to exercise, even though I'm not where my body, want, you know, I'm not where my body used to be because I used to be very physically fit. Um, I used to have a job where it was very stressful. So instead of beating somebody up, I used to work out all the time. So I was doing um, this Brazilian butt lift by Alejandro. And it was like, you know, I got so toned. I was like, I can put up pictures. I'm just like, oh, my God, girl, you were fine as I don't know what. And I still feel like I'm beautiful inside out. But I'm still self-conscious about certain things I want to fix. So instead of me complaining about it, I go ahead and exercise, take long walks, you know, cut out sodas. You know, now I just eat, you know, vanilla ice cream. So I think that's like my little thing since I don't smoke or drink anymore. You know, I have a little habit that I picked up. But I said I'm going to let go of the you know, sodas. I haven't really been craving sodas like I used to. And I mean, I can go through liters like back to back to back. And I'll gain like 15 pounds from it. So, you know, trying to knock that off and, you know, putting out of those trying not to put those toxins in my body anymore so all these things that i'm doing i'm being able to you know convert them into positive outlets you know i sing i exercise take long walks read watch movies with my daughter you know spend time with my children like i have my my middle child she's you know out of state so i try to keep in touch with her a lot you know she has a lot of different events that she's doing writing her own book which i'm so proud of my daughter nadia and you know because we really went through it you know that would be the main one i bumped heads with all the time and we had a very toxic situation that kind of remind me a lot of my mom me and my mom that we had and it was so blessed that you know that tough love for her having to move down there where her dad is really brought so much positive um a positive outcome to it and she's just like even though she might have her situations where you know she's trying to do stuff and she feels like giving up i always give her that words of encouragement and even if i can't be there you know i want her to know that you know whatever you're going for and you know it's a hard situation nothing's going to come easy for you and that's i mean that's anything in life that you're going towards there's days that i cry that you know i wish i get more views or i see other people that can put up videos and you know within an hour they got like 1.4k you know but i had to understand these people had made their own sacrifices as well and plus they've been doing it way longer than me and you know they got twitter and snapchat and you know what all that other stuff i don't have all that so they have all those media outlets that they can go to to get them towards that so you know i'm blessed to be able to have the people i have now because i mean even though it's not as many as they have you know i'm still blessed that i'm doing my things because I'm doing positive videos. It's not like, you know, I'm not saying there were drama or whatever, but they were doing reaction videos or, you know, video reaction videos, pranks and all the other things or, you know, twerk videos or whatever they do, you know, because they were a younger age than me. But I feel blessed for the people I have in my corner. I have blessed to, you know, be able to do what I can do for, you know, the outlet that I'm doing it for because it's just like, I don't really think it when I first started, this is what I was going to plan on doing it and then it's just like, it's amazing how God and universe can, 
you know, sways you in a certain direction that you truly need to go to. So it's just like when you're going through these things, knowing your crazy changes that you're going through without your mind, body, and spirit and your essence, it really has a personal, not not personal, but positive outcome is coming out to it if you really can see it that way and you really do need need to because there's times that it's hard for us to really see that when we're going through something you know you if you're ready to have that positive outlet you really just ready to say enough is enough i'm tired of being depressed i'm tired of being sad because of the situations i go through and especially with us being impasse or even hey because we don't re really went through hell and it's just like especially a lot of us are multi-gifted some of us have not even came across the other things that we're gifted with we're just now starting to learn more and more about ourselves every day and it's you know it's a hard thing to know like dang i should know myself but you don't really know yourself if you are not been spiritually open to everything that needs to come into your life yet it takes that tragedy that that smack of reality to be able to know hey you know these things are about me i need to take knowledge of this so I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video, knowing that every change that you're going through has a positive outlet or a positive outcome. Just really look for that positive perspective that's happening in your life. Knowing that you're going to be going through beautiful things, it's just going to take some crazy ways to have to get through it <laughs> and crazy changes. So I hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Stay blessed, stay safe, and responsible for everything you do. Send as much love and light positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, forever favored, and always loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And my post notification shout out goes to... Um, let me see who I'm going to put out today. Daily Holidays, Twin Flame, uh, American Unconditional 747. I hope that I didn't mess up your tag name. Um, and Hope the Builder. And I hope everybody has a blessed day's weekend. And remember, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share my videos wherever you see fit. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.